Hi, today I would like to talk about C Sharp and how you can create password using source for very strong uh, security. So let's get started. Basically, I have an ASP.NET application and when a user tries to register, it's going to call this function called password hash with salt. And I'm going to initially do this function without a salt. So you, it will be easier to understand. So basically, uh, a password is coming through. Uh, we use this function ASCII get bytes to get the password bytes and uh, I'm getting something called the data input and in this case the data input is same as password bytes because there is nothing going on but essentially I have the data input coming into a class so we create uh, an instance of a class called SHA512 manage so this is the hash the 512 SHA hash the secure hash and uh, we'll compute the hash and get the hash byte array and we will change the hash byte array to a base64 string and we get a hash results and we are returning the hash result here since the salt is not being used I'm just going to return an array of salt and uh, the reason I have a tuple here that way I can return two things the first thing is the salt and the second is the hash but in this version of the function we are not using uh, the salt so this is basically what it is so the crucial thing here is you convert you get the bytes then you get a SHA-512 manage class and you compute the hash you convert to base64 example and uh, get this going so let me just get this started and uh, okay so I have it started here and I'm registering a new account as I said so I'm going to press register and it should come in here and you can see where the password is what I type one two three four five six and we get a hash result so let me just uh, copy this hash result and what we're going to do is uh, pass it through a hash password cracker and I have a link to my website if you search for C sharp any of the videos at the bottom you'll have this link called free password hash cracker and you can also search for it online by saying crack station but that's what it is so I'm going to just put it in here, the value of the hash and see uh, if it can uh, uh, crack it. Let me put the captcha here, 4300 and I say crack hashes and let's see what happens. So here oh, it complained about the hash I guess, let me. Okay, so you can see that this password is uh, site uh, cracking the hash is not able to even recognize uh, this without a salt. So, uh, which is actually pretty good. So, let me uh, just explain to you how what salt is. Essentially, what we normally end up doing is we take the password uh, that bytes and we can append uh, what is called the salt bytes, and they are secure random generated bits and bytes and we then compute the hash on top of that and uh, this is actually uniquely generated for each password and you want to store it somewhere safe but essentially uh, the idea is that if you just uh, do the password hashing uh, with the tables rainbow tables dictionary attacks it and reverse lookup tables it would be quite easy to uh, reverse uh, the hash and get the passwords because there could be a lookup of that but with especially if you append this with a salt of uh, say 20 bytes it becomes a lot harder and especially uh, if even if two users use the same password and uh, since the salt is randomized and securely generated in a different way uh, they'll end up getting different hashes and the account will be much more secure so let me just uh, cut and paste that uh, code and uh, i'll be back in a second all right so i have uh, basically tried to register again and i have the newer version of the function so here you can see is the way to get the salt is use this uh, instance of this class called rng crypto service provider and you can get some randomized uh, bytes 20 bytes in my case so i'm using that and uh, now you can see this becomes a little bit useful because essentially what i'm doing is I'm taking a data input which is of the length, salt length and the password byte length and I'm filling it in 
first I have the password bytes, then I have the salt bytes, which are the random coming in here. And then I do the computing of the hash the same way. So, and I return the salt so it can be stored in a database and also the hash results, which can be stored in the database. And the password is obviously just this. And this hash result is going to be uncrackable again, even now, uh, because we even have the salt. Uh, so uh, essentially the takeaway is uh, if you want to use the use standard functions, like such as RNG crypto service provider, SHA-512 managed for securing your website. If you want to learn more about these and other videos, you can just go to my website, Gaur Associates. And for example, I'm searching here for Cheetah and uh, I get this uh, video. And this is an excellent video, which basically shows that the acceleration which uh, Cheetah can have uh, is essentially even better than a Lamborghini or a Porsche. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.